Hey, I'm Eric and welcome to the installation of VTask. At the point of the tutorial, uh, we had a version VTask 2.1.20. Alright, so quickly let me just go to the setup. So what you have to do is first of all, if you know you have a previous version installed already, you need to remove it. So I'm going to quickly go to my add and remove programs. Great, that's gone. What you're going to do is to just uh, hit on the installation file. It's straightforward and that's the point of this uh, version. As of the release of this version, we've made the installation very simple. We have uh, removed the inclusion of K-Lite. Uh, that doesn't mean we don't depend on K-Lite. We need some codecs from K-Lite, but the installation does not do that for you. So you might want to install K-Lite after the installation separately. You might have to install K-Lite if uh, everything's not working for you. Alright, so uh, when it comes to the screen, it's a very simple thingy. Uh, welcome to this task. What you're going to do is to just hit on next, next, and next. These are the only two clicks you need to do, and you're done. Isn't that easy? Oh, uh, there's another click. Sorry about that. You just need to say yes, and that's done. And last click is close because you're done. Yes, and you can just straight ahead fire up your VTask and it's running. So, installation notes, as of this version onwards, we do no longer include K-Lite as a default installation option, but if you run VTask and you have any issues with video codecs, then you might want to head to K-Lite website and get the latest version yourself and download it, install it, and you're gonna be fine. Bye bye for now.